Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Cook It. It is Saturday, April 9th. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do things a little bit different today in this video. And if you notice some steam coming up in front of the camera, that's because I have some cube sticks frying in the electric skillet. Okay, I found a cookbook yesterday at Goodwill and it's a Betty Crocker cookbook and um, uh, let me go get it. All right, it's called Family Dinners in a Hurry, copyright 1970. So I looked at it and I thought, it's 99 cents, I'm gonna get it. And it's probably got some good recipes in it, I thought. And I looked through it and I was right, it does have good recipes. So the recipe I'm making today um, is fried cube steaks. Now the little bit of a difference here is that they marinated, or not really marinated, but um, dipped the cube steaks and uh, Italian salad dressing, dredge them in flour, and then put them in the electric skillet to, to fry. And I thought that sounded really good. I never thought about using salad dressing um, as a dip before, before frying the meat. But I did that, and I, I'm going to try it in just a couple minutes. The um, Looks like they're, you know, almost pretty well done. Oh, look at that. A foggy camera. All right, so the other thing we're going to have is broccoli florets in a lemon butter sauce, uh, lemon butter garlic sauce. And if you uh, remember from the other day, I got a package of um, garlic parmesan butter and um, put those on the little mini pizzas that I made with the English muffins. So I had some of that left and so I just melted some of that, the rest of what I had, and uh, I juiced a couple lemons so I can have that uh, natural lemon juice. Okay, the other thing we're gonna have uh, with this meal is rice aroni, cheesy rice, not entirely homemade, but I like it, and so I fixed a couple boxes of it, and it's on the stove right there in that skillet. We're also going to have Pillsbury Grand's biscuits. Those are in the little oven right over there. There it is. That's the little oven. I've showed you that before. Okay, so the thing that I'm going to do different today is that... I'm not going to try to be as perfect on this video. Um, I really wanted to make content that looked appealing. And, you know, I guess I had it in my head that I had to have everything ready to go. And, you know, ready for you guys to see that and plate it up really nice and blah, blah, whatnot. But today, what I'm going to do is what we would normally do any other day is just get the food out of the pans instead of dirtying a bunch of bowls and silverware and all that stuff. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Now, as you can see the steam, I did mention that, it's coming up out of this electric skillet. And I'm gonna take the lid off so I can get that extra steam out of there. And um, you can hear Nelson and Eddie in the background. All right, I'm gonna put this lid over here somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera down here so you can see what this breaded cube steak looks like. So here it is in the electric skillet. As I said, I dipped it in some Italian salad dressing, dredged it in flour, and put it in the electric skillet with some Crisco. Just like the recipe called for. All right, so... All right, so there's the rice aroni. It's cooked. I'm going to put some on the plate, some of this uh, cube steak on the plate, and some of that broccoli, which I'm going to now get out of the oven. Hold on for just a second. Yeah, I had to pause the video because I had to, you know, get the dogs to be quiet because they're romping around a little bit too much today and really making a lot of noise. All right, so I'm going to get this biscuits out of the oven now. All right, there they are, beside the rice aroni. So, oh, let me show you, I did something just a little bit fancy for you guys today. 
I found this uh, gravy boat at Goodwill yesterday and I put the lemon butter sauce in that. So let's uh, take a look at this right here. There's the broccoli. Here's the lemon butter sauce. And I'm just gonna pour all of that on there. I love lemon, I love garlic, I love butter, I love a lemon sauce. All right, so let's get some of this rice aroni and a biscuit. Put the camera down here again so you can see what's going on. So let me get a spoon. Get some of this broccoli. I just got some broccoli florets out of the frozen food section. The steamable kind. Which is good enough because it saves time from getting, you know, a head of broccoli and cutting it up and all that stuff. All right. So let's cut this biscuit open. They got a little bit brown on the bottom. That's all right. Close that up so it can melt that butter. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of these steaks out of here put it on the plate and we're going to try it. Well, I think that actually looks pretty good. As I said before, I've never made um, cube steaks with Italian dressing. So I'm anxious to see how it turns out. All right. We'll try the steak first. That's pretty good. Um, it doesn't have a real heavy Italian flavor, but it's good. I would salt and pepper this though. Um, and also that piece was just a little bit chewy, but if you've ever made cube steak before, you know that sometimes it is like that. So let's try this broccoli in the lemon butter sauce. And there's that. That turned out really good. Just a right amount of butter, all those other ingredients, and the lemon juice, <clears throat> and the rice aroni. And it is really hot. You can see the steam coming up off of it. Turned out good. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's the biscuit. Fresh out of the oven. Melted that cold butter. That looks really good. Let's get a bite of that. It's good. I like it. Okay, well folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and um, I hope you like the food that I made. I hope you think it looks really good, and I hope you like this, what I'm going to call kind of like a freestyle video. Just got things off the stove, out of a bowl, fixed my plate just like I would any other time. Um, however, I still want to make good content, and I want to make sure that everything looks good for everybody. And so I have a few little things to tweak, but today I just didn't really want to mess around with making everything look just so. 
like we just stepped off of a cooking show or something. Because this is real life. All right. So uh, the cabinets I ordered came today. So I'm going to put those together for some extra storage space. That's probably going to take up a lot of my afternoon. Uh, but I'll be glad to get this put together because um, it's time to declutter some stuff and free up some cabinet space here in the kitchen. Okay. Um, I don't know whether you noticed or not, uh, and maybe you didn't, and maybe I don't even need to bring this up, but um, I know my hair does look a little bit different. Um, I got new hair yesterday. Uh, for those that know me know that um, I'm practically bald on the top. So anyway, this is a hair system that I had put in yesterday or put on yesterday. It's not necessarily a cooking video talk, but you know, in case anyone asks, yes, it's new hair. And um, yes, I still need to work with it and style it and uh, get it under control. But anyway, it's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to finish the plate. Uh, tell Rich to come into the kitchen so he can get his food and get eating. And um, I guess it's going to be it for today. I'm going to hopefully get these cabinets done today. Um, looks like it's going to be a pretty big project, but that's all right. I got to get it done. Tomorrow I will have a video. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to make, but I will have something. And hopefully that'll turn out really well too. Okay, everybody. I'm going to say it. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to taste good. I'm Ed. This is Let's Cook It. I hope you have a fabulous day, awesome day, wonderful day, great day, whatever day. I hope it's all good. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. So I'm going to cut the video off now, get it uploaded to YouTube, and hopefully it turned out well. Everybody, I will see you next time on Let's Cook It. Oh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, and give me a thumbs up. All right, you guys take care. Bye for now.